when we started. Hi, this <laughs> is God Ride 100. And God Ride 13. And we're doing a tutorial on how to make a halter for your briars. So, what you need is your horse that you're going to scale it to. Yeah. Wire. This is Jake. Yeah. Wire. Um, pliers. Benders. Yeah, and pliers. you might need wire cutters. Depending on your wire that you're using. And then you obviously need wire. It's just a little piece to and make the buckle. And you need your ribbon. You need scissors to cut the ribbon. And you need six little rings. And a hot glue gun. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. This might be a long video. Actually, probably will be. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, your ribbon and you're going to put it through the loop and then you're going to fold it over like that and then you're going to glue it and put glue on the little flappy thing eh. but not too much glue because then it like overflows you don't want that. But if it does happen, you can always cut it off, which is what I'm going to do. So, yeah. So, there's, like, the little excess piece of glue. So, then you just cut it off like that without cutting the ribbon because you don't want to cut the ribbon. And I can't get it. Do you remember who uh, requested this? No, but if you want, you can find it. Well, this was requested by someone, so if it helped... We'll put it in then, the description, probably. Yeah, if this helped, let us know. We might tag you in it if you requested it. We don't know yet. Yeah, so then you put it, like, kind of in the middle of their face. Like, not the middle of their face, but, like... The there. middle of the side. <laughs> yeah. And you want it to be, like, not too far down and not too far up. I kind of like mine, like, a little more up, so about there. And then you would cut it about there. And if it's too long, you can always cut it. It's just easier to work with it when the ribbon is shorter. So... And then you're going to put it through the loop, like that. And, and you want all the side that you're gluing to be on, on the, the inside, inside against yeah. the face. Because sometimes if, like, part of it is on the inside and then the other side is on the inside, then it looks bad. So, yeah. so then you want to make sure it's back where you want it to be. And you go to the other side. And just kind of decide where you want it to be, but mine fell off, so. And then you glue it. And then you want to measure it again. Make sure it's in the right spot. If it's not, you can always take it off and re-glue it. So, yeah. So it's like middle of the face there. And middle of the face. So then the next thing you want to do is where should I put the bottom or the side thing? Bottom. We're gonna do the bottom next. So you take your ribbon and you tie it on the ring that's already attached to here. And you, you know you wanna make sure it's like folded on the same side. So see like that's the unfolded side. That's the folded side. And then you just glue it. I will that much. So you can glue it. And you're going to put it back on his face. 
and then put it around his face, around the bottom. And then you don't want it to be too loose either, or too tight, I mean. And then that's probably good. And then you just cut it, like, right there. You have to keep your spot where you cut it. And then you take one ring, and you put the ring through the, or the ribbon through the ring. And then you put it back on his head. Without dropping the ring. And then again, you want to make sure it's in the right spot and you have enough ribbon. So probably like that. And I'm going to make it shorter. So yeah, and then once you have it enough ribbon and the right amount that you want, you just fold it in and then you glue it on. And careful that you don't touch the glue while it's hot. That looks Chris. huge. He has a big head. So this is what it should looks like should look like so far. It's kind of like a just a, a circle, loop. pretty much. A loop with rings. A rings ring with rings. Ring. I don't know. The ring that's kind of hanging there, that's on the bottom, obviously. Yeah. So then, the next thing you're going to do, and by the way, that's how much is like underneath. You can see that. I don't know. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to make the cheek pieces. So, you take your ribbon, and you put it through the side loop. So, this one that's on the side of his face. You put it through and you're just gonna fold it like you would normally do with everything else. You fold it like that and glue it. That was hot. By the way, if it is hot and you wanna touch it, you can lick your finger, and then it doesn't burn you. Which I don't usually do because I don't have a hot glue gun. It's a cold glue gun. So then, you put it about like, you want it to be under his eye, around there. You don't want it to be like, up here. You want the ring to be like, under his eye. But we're going to cut it at about his ear. So it's easier to handle. So we cut it there. And then you're going to take another ring. And put it through. Like that. And I can't really see what I'm doing. So I'm going to flip him around for a second. And then you're just going to fold it. Like that. And then you're going to measure it. Make sure it's in the right spot. So, about under his eye, maybe a little further actually. Like right behind his eye. See that? So then, and you have to, when you're trying to figure out how high you want the halter to be, you also have to pay attention to the nose band. Because if it's too far down his face, then it won't look good and it's really loose. So you have to bring it up more. 
So once it's in the right spot, you're going to glue it. And if you have too much ribbon, you can cut it off. That's what I'm doing. So yeah. You don't want too much ribbon because then it gets hard and stiff and it's not very flexible. And you don't really want that. Well, unless you do want that. I don't know. And glue it down. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. But what I usually do here, I'll show you in a second. First, you want to put your ribbon on the other side of the loop. So what I like to do is I want to make sure they're the same length. So I'm going to put them right beside each other. And it's okay to fold your noseband as long as you don't actually fold it down. You just kind of bend it. So you go like that. And you cut it about like right behind here. And you put the loop through. And fold it. Now sometimes their heads are like uneven so you always have to measure it and make sure it's the right right where you want it to be. Usually it is though so like that and then glue it. This might be in two parts, so after I show you what to do here, we're going to stop the video and make a second part later. So, yeah. So then you have your nose band, like that, your cheek piece, and the other side, same thing. That's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like off the horse. You can go like that, like that. I don't know. So yeah. You can keep going just until. Okay. We're gonna keep going. So the next thing you're gonna do is you need to make your buckle. So we're just gonna put that in. So you take your piece of wire and your pliers but what you could also do is take if you don't have wire or something you can take two rings and you just like glue them onto each other like that and then you make a buckle but I don't like to do that because mine tend to break a lot so I do it this way so you put it about there on the end, and you wrap it around your pliers all the way around and then you have to somehow figure out how to take it off because if it's going to be tight on it then it's something special and then you take your um we're going to call them wire cutters <laughs> yeah that's what they're called actually and then you just kind of push it against here because it's easier to bend it. And then, so that it's like a smooth thing. So if you can actually get it. Yeah, and then you just take it off. And then, but what you can do here is you just like squeeze it so that it's flat. And you put it in there and you just squeeze it. I don't know what I just did, but. And this is what it should look like. It just. It should just look like. Looks kind of like an E. 
an E. And it should have like a little line through it so the yeah. double ribbon can go. But then also a trick that I do, you can cut it with your wire cutters. Um, but you cut it like on an angle so that it doesn't stick out. So like you see how it has it sticking out a bit like that. You cut it on an angle so that it doesn't do that. Mm. Unless your wire is too short. There and then it's not like that. And it should be kind of roundish. So yeah, here's your buckle. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Really? Go ahead. So then you take the ribbon and you put it through the one side in that way and then out the other side. You have to fold it usually, not really, but you just kind of put it in, which is sometimes hard to do because the ribbon doesn't cooperate. So, yeah. And then, you see how it's like, in like that? So you're pretty much just putting it under, then over, yeah. and then folding it underneath? Kind of like a belt, if yeah. you think about it. And then you just pull it a bit so that there's not that much. And then you glue it. Yeah. But you have to, like, don't glue it too close to the wire because then it won't move. And I'll show you what I mean by that later. Just, like, make sure the glue doesn't touch the wire, basically. So, yeah, you want it to be able to bend like that. use it or not. Well, some parts are dark, so I might use it. Like, or my shadow gets in the way. Use the glow part of it if you do use it. Hmm? Use this part. Okay. Okay, and then you want to take your cheek piece thingy. The rest of your halter, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the rest of your halter. And you put it on. Actually, you don't really have to for this part, but I like to. And then you... Actually, what you're going to do first is cut it kind of big-ish, like about that much. And this is your buckle, not your halter, by yeah. the way. Well, the buckle's part of the halter, so... Yeah, but you're not cutting the halter. Oh, yeah, you cut the part of the buckle that's attached to the rest of the ribbon. So, yeah. Put it back on the space. And then you have to look at the folded side again. And then you put it through the loop on the cheek piece. You can put it on whatever side you want. But. Yeah. I like to put it on the left side. It's always on the left for me. I don't know why. I just like the left. And then you just, you don't really need to measure it for this part. So you just kind of put it like that. And you glue it on. By the way, you don't have to use hot glue either. You can use whatever kind of glue you want. It but just works better. Well, it depends. I, I like hot glue, though. Hot glue works on a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, you can put it like that. And there's your buckle. It's kind of falling over right now. But yeah, that's your buckle. So, the next thing you're going to make, I don't know what it's called, but the thing that goes around his head, behind his ears. So you put it on the other side, on the cheek piece, in the same spot where you put this, so like, that that goes on there. 
And then you take your ribbon and put it through like that. And then you glue it. You also want to get rid of the little strings that get attached because there's a little battery. Oh. Okay, well, we're almost done. If it dies, then just look for part two, probably in a few days. Yeah. I'll try to. So this part's easy though. You just take a really long piece. <laughs> Sorry about my stomach. <laughs> Yeah, my skin is too. We just ate, so yeah. Um, and you just cut long piece. Doesn't really matter how long you want it to be, because it's going to go through the buckle and hold the halter yeah. onto his head. So we want to make sure it can go all the way around and up and over. Yeah, I think that was actually too short. Well, maybe not. And then you put it through your buckle. And it's through the other side. I really want to use this. It has a glow stick. It's like a glow stick flashlight. Oh. And <laughs> she's shining it in my face right now. Hey, look. Yeah, it flashes too. Yeah. So, you go like that. Sometimes you can even, if it's too long, you take this piece and you put it through the other loop. Or so you that can it just cut down. it. Yeah, but so, yeah. and then you just kind of pull that side down, make sure it's even like that. Yeah, that part's done. Wow, this is already 22 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, so then, um, yeah, you're making your throat latch now. Um, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. So you put it to the cheek piece like that. If you know how horse halters work, this part, well, you should know like where all these things go. So yeah. And then you glue it. Sometimes you can take it off or just do it right on his face, which is what I'm doing, obviously. And I think that was way too much glue because there's like this giant bubble that's like attached to it. And again, like for everything, you don't want to have glue touching the wire because then it doesn't move. And it's really stiff. It's kind of like sometimes when your horse gets a new halter and then he goes out in the, in the mud and it gets all like full of mud and then it rains. So then your halter gets really stiff. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but I have a weird pony, and he likes to do that. So, it gets really stiff, and I hate it. So, I had to buy him a new halter. So, yeah. You don't want your halter to be stiff. And then, you just kind of cut it up here. Like that. And then, I'm pulling this down, because it's moving up. And you don't want it to be too tight to the neck. Like, you want a little space between yeah, the neck. Yeah, because you're going to put another thing attached to this, too, so. Sorry, I interrupted you. I have a bad habit of interrupting people, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to go on the inside again. Because I can't see what I'm doing. So then, you want to make sure it's straight, too. You don't want it to be all twisted. And then you put it, you have to yes. fold it inward. Yeah, this is probably the hardest part, most aggravating, too. Yeah. Sometimes the buckle is the most annoying part, too. Because the buckle, it, I don't know. But I'm going to loosen that. Actually, I'm going to take it off. Yeah, so then you just kind of put it in and you fold it back like that. Then put it back on. That's why I like his uh, 
thing that goes around his ears to be long because then you can take it off without having to undo the buckle because the buckle is really annoying. So. And this won't go on and I just lost it. This is annoying. 25 minutes, holy cow. Sorry this is so long. But, I don't know. This is actually probably the fastest I've ever made a halter. Mm -hmm. I'm a slow worker. so. But this is my favorite horse, so I want his halter to be good. I don't know. So, yeah. You just kind of make sure it's right spot. I don't know if this is or not. I'm just going to put wing it on it. and hope for the best. Yeah, wing it. It's been kind of my new phrase lately, winging.